You boys ready? Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's go. Heck yeah. Let's go. All right, I guess I'll sit in the front yeah, if y'all really want me to. My gosh. All right, Humphrey. Bye, baby. Um, my bad. Getting on the road, y'all. Okay, everybody. So, uh, the last time we were here, I met a really nice lady, and uh, she invited us to come up um, to their house when we came back, and uh, we just we just done that. They showed us a bunch of cool cool stuff, but uh, we are diving off in a hole, and they've been having bulls come up here. A lot of deer as well but um yeah we're gonna dive off in here and see what we can find so stick with us i got a feeling today might be really good all right first set of the trip for me it's hot today and uh i have been on bull sign like you would not believe um just crazy i i got into it early and then we dropped off in this canyon, got completely out of it. And then about an hour, hour and a half ago, I got back in it. Just been gritting like crazy. Have not been able to turn up a brown. Um, I was on their sign, you know, that was kind of from like last night and the last few couple of days. And now I just got on their sign that's from this past week. So I'm trying to backtrack them, find where they shed. But I looked through the trees and I have a hard white. Looks like a really nice six point. Let's go check it out. All right. So that's what I could see right there. Let's get down there. As you can see, it is just absolutely shredded in here with sign. And so I know the browns are in here, but man, dude, Tell you what, if that shed would have been brown, uh, there's no way I would have seen it. So I am gonna have to grid hard in here to find the antlers, I believe, or their browns, I should say. It looks like we got a nice hard white right here. Super sweet shed, just beautiful shed. Really good condition. And, uh, oh my gosh, look right there. You gotta be kidding me, dude. How did I not see that side? Oh, that's sick. All right, I gotta get some pictures of that, boys. That is dope. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Let me get some pictures and stuff and we get a pickup. Really nice bull. Let's get these bad boys picked up. I mean, this is the coolest hard white set I've found in a while. That is just a beautiful bull. I'm going to grab them both right now and then bring them over here and, and uh, we'll hold them side by side. There's a brown set in here somewhere laying just like this probably. I am trying my best to find it. But oh my goodness, that is a beautiful set. Beautiful set. Love that back end. All right, let me pick them up. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I'm so happy with this set. Honestly. That's such a nice set. Such a nice set. Not the biggest bull in the world, but just a really, really pretty set. And uh, I gotta say, I am so happy. By far, it's the best set I've found this year. Probably going in the keeper pile for right now. I gotta say, I don't keep a whole lot of sheds. I sell a bunch of my stuff, but I don't know, man. That set's just so pretty. So pretty. Just in such good condition. Um, I haven't said anything yet, but I've already spotted another shed right up the hill for me. 
and uh, so when we get the pickup on these we'll go over there and check that one out next but dude this set is just so beautiful um, but it's it's kind of crazy because this set isn't at all chewed on anything that I've seen and uh, the single I see up here is looks like it's chewed up pretty bad and it's a hard white as well so kind of lucky that this set has not been touched and it's just in such good shape I love shed hunting this is why we do it right here and uh, there's just nothing like it so I love finding bomber sets like that I'll tell you one thing though that set right there is going to weigh me down so uh that's a that's a good kind of weight so let's go up here and check out this other shed hopefully we can get on these browns i know these bulls have dropped somewhere right here so hopefully we can pick up maybe this bull's browns all right so met up with jade up we're gonna go pick up this other shed so let's go check it out This is what I seen. I was actually down here and looked up and seen it, but got a big old nice white bird shining in here. Looks like an old bull progressing. Got to chew on in. Well, this one's actually older than I thought, but I was thinking it was a hard white. It's actually a few years old. Getting chewed up, but still pretty good. Pretty good shed. I know there's gonna be some more in here. Look at the size of that bear. That thing is huge. That is big. So, oh, Josh just found one. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. You could be right next to a stinking shed in here and not stink and see it, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's for sure the match, huh? Yeah, that's the match, all right. Dead ringer. See that big old fat base? Dude, that dude's base is giant. It's a big old. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Thank you, brother. It's my first find of the day. It's a little six by. Oh, that's a hard white. Ain't a bad find. Well, that's a good sign. That means it hasn't been hit in a while, so hopefully we'll get uh, some more action for you. We got another one. Look at the trees here. Nice. Sweet little horn. It's in pretty decent shape. Starting to chalk a little bit, though. Nice brown backside on it, but starting to gray over on that front. Guys, been a little bit, but uh, got another one. Pretty cool little horn. Hopefully, we can find some. I actually spotted this guy from up here, but just caught a glimpse of that beam. And uh, yeah, barely had to take a double take at it. I thought it might be a, it might not be too old, but it looks like it might actually be older. Nope. All right. Pretty nice shape. Honestly, that might be a hard white. That's probably a two-year-old, but it, yeah, it's two-year-old. Good shape, though. Sweet antler. I just came down through here, walking up, got right here. Looking around, picked up over this log. Got this one right here. On my way up. Get up to it. And boom. There's the match. Let's go. Thank you, Lord. All right. Got another one. This thing looks old, but looks like it might have been a big shed so let me turn this around and i'll show you how i've seen it it's pretty crazy i'm looking through this thing begin to see something down here in the ditch 
And there is that. Zoom this thing out. A big old royal on it. But it's been there for a while, as you can tell. Surprised it even came out of the hide there. Big old base on that ball. But just super old. I got another shed. Took about 10 steps and looked over. Looks like another old chalky one though. Pretty bad chalk too. I don't know how on earth these two didn't get spotted. Looks like this might actually be his match. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know. Might be, might not be. Yeah, I think those might have to stay here. Those are ancient. Well, I was right here when I looked down and seen these two chalkies. I don't know if this is these are gonna be worth it either, man. They're pretty chalky. But that's pretty cool how they were laying. At least they're a little bit more solid chalk, but they're pretty chalk. Alright guys, it's been a minute since my last torn but just came across uh, this one coming up this very steep finger they like it up here us two-legged folks uh it's a little challenge but for them they enjoy it hopefully we'll find another Got ourselves a little koozie out here. Hey guys, got a little horn update. I um found my first brown elk set. <laughs> Ah, there's one, the other is right up there by oh, that pine tree. I don't know if you can see it good or not, but I, um, just found those, that last horn a little bit ago, but there you go. It's the other one. I'm going to get them and put them on the pack, but it's number five for today, baby. The Lord is looking out. Let's uh, keep it going. Guys, just show you. The ones I just found. I'm on a steep hill, so it's really hard to do it right now, but it's a brown set. Gnarly. Hey guys, I was coming down this draw and um, ended up finding a little dead head. It's nothing crazy or anything, but it's a cool little find. Oh man, we're out here. Fix the head back to the truck and just seen this guy. It's pretty rough, but he's a big bull. And lo and behold, right around the other side of the tree. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, guys. It's been a bit. I had to go make a stash. We got another nice shed here. Chucking out a little bit here on this one. Been laying here a while. Got a pretty nice shed, still in pretty good shape. Heck yeah. Well, literally turned, and here's his other side. So, no kidding. He's like, I think it is. Might be a different bull. I don't know. This one's pretty chunky too. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah. I don't know, those two don't look the same at all. They look completely different. Let's see. That bird. Chalk or not, Steve, that's still a cool find, man. Nice work. Well, heck, two more chalks for the pile here. Just came. And they're up there laying on the flat bench. Walking up this. Looked over this tree. Seen this bad boy. He's old, but he's a beauty. Thankful to have oh, it. Dude, we are out here in serious Chalkville. Can't find browns or hard whites, but we are loading up on these chocks. All right, got another one. Big old bull, man. That's pretty bad shape right there. And the sign all looks right. I just can't, can't seem to find where these bulls shed this year. Another old chalky. Pretty busted up and nasty. But, hmm. Still on quite a bit of bull sign. Oh yeah, just a absolutely awesome day. Um, found a lot of great quality antler this morning. And, uh, then I kind of, this evening's mostly been a lot of chalk, but yeah, I think, uh, I think the boys are all pretty close to the truck, so I'm going to dip out. I know there's no possible way I'm getting back before dark, but it's all right. A little hike out with the flashlight never hurt nobody, so just wanted to push it a little bit farther. Really was wanting to pick up a brownie but still got a lot of walking to do to get out of here so never know what can happen headed back to the truck and um it's coming on top of this rim and this little sucker decided to grace me with his presence <laughs> i'll grab it and <clears throat> continue on back to the truck you never know what you might find all right, making it back to the stash. The other boys took a couple of a couple of my antlers with them, which I really appreciate. So, take these bad boys and get them on the backpack and get out of here. I uh, got back to the truck a little bit ago, and um, other guys are heading in. But a pretty successful day. I think all of them ended up with, with way more sheds than I did. Um, I've got, uh, say, I've got five antlers, and uh, I know Stephen Lane has to have like around 10 or 12. Um, Tristan found a brown set, so it's been a good day. Uh, but they'll be here in just a little bit. There comes Tristan. Oh, man. What'd you do? Find another mule deer shed on the way out? Yeah. That's a muley. A little muley. Dude, look at that. Oh, that bull's nasty. I know too, it's nasty son. looking, huh? Ooh. Oh, Tristan, son. son, he packing them out, boy. Just doing a little damage. Hey, that's your, that's your brown set. That's my brown set. That's what I asked for. That's, that's right. Well, I can't wait to get this thing off my back right now. 
And I did it. Dude. Looks like everybody got shit. Bro, there's something that's big, bro. <laughs> Bro. Hey, Shed Taxi. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it, man. Oh, my goodness. All chalk, bro. All chalk, but we did all right. Dude, that's... <laughs> hey, I'll pick up chalks all day long, bro. To... Yeah, I get those down uh, for... Good night. Driving field, okay? Dude, that's awesome, hey. man. Awesome. That was a hard hike out, dude. <laughs> 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 this guy... <laughs> Dude, bro. Simple, bro, did you find some? <laughs> Somebody shine a light on that pack. <laughs> my gosh, you got your phone light? Oh my goodness. Holy moly, dude. Oh. My word. Golly, dude, that's a freaking bull. That's a hoss. Dude, that's a giant. Dude, look at the whale tail on that junker. I'll spotlight him for you. Ooh. Spotlight him, boy. Spotlight on there. What do you think about the day? It was a good day. It was a very good day. I'm tired. Productive. Oh. <laughs> that is cool. Love this man. Day two, y'all. These boys killed it yesterday. Dude. All of them. So we fixing to get back after. We're diving in another canyon we've never been in. Um, found some good sheds though. Tristan, he got the brown set he was wanting. Steven found a big set. The boys matched up a big old set. And uh, I think we ended up with what, 40? 40. So see if we can add a few more to the pile today. I just walked up on a sweet old chalk deer shed. That's a really cool buck. So yeah, the the uh, goal for today is going to stay the same as yesterday, I believe. Just want to get in some good country and good track and hopefully pull out a brown. So brown elk shed. That's what I want for today. And uh, that's a pretty sweet shed to start the morning right there so let's get after it here and see what we can pick up all right jumped a couple shed bulls down here behind me and uh not even 50 yards from them spotted this guy looks to be pretty old but looks to be pretty nice so let's check him out here Nice, sweet shed. You'd have to think that if many people have been in here, they would have found that horn. All right, guys, literally right here. Want to see this one? Right on top of it. These things are hard to pick out, dude. But a nice shed. Looks like a one, two-year-old horn. A little rodent or something got to that one just a hair but not a bad shed all right got a couple of sheds up here i think it's a side by side chalk white though looks like so let's go up there and take a look all right here's what we got not like i thought pretty old looking so below this little bench here. Yeah, ain't a whole lot left to those guys, but it's cool. Hey guys, it's day two of our shed hunt. Um, I ain't found nothing this morning. We've got into it a little bit, but not much. But uh, first brown of the day for us, so. It ain't too bad of a horn. He's just a little four point, but it's a brown nonetheless. So, 
Hopefully we'll get him. Another one down here. Spotted it with the naked eye. Looks pretty chalky though. So might go down there and check it out. All right, walking up to this chalker. Looks like it's pretty bad condition here. Got a pretty sweet point on it though. Man, that is just ancient, ancient shed. Poor thing. He's laid here and rotted away. Just trying to give you a big idea how big this bull is. We've been a toad in his time. There's nothing left. But really sweet. Hey guys, coming over this uh, bluff right here. I um, got up on the top and both of those sheds are uh, sitting right up up here. Ain't too bad. Hopefully we'll find some more. This is the end of the two dayer. Picked up some good ones. Put in some light work. What do you think? Yeah, it was light. <laughs> it was light. Yeah, no big deal. Not bad. Not bad. I put in two more miles up here back to the truck. Did you? Big brown Tristan found. It's a big hard white set. This big old giant bull there. It's a beaut. But all in all. It was a good weekend. Good weekend. What do you think? Best weekend ever, hey? No kidding. Best good weekend. We hit Chalk City a couple of times, Chalk but City. we pulled out some good ones too, so. What you think? Hey, I think we have to call that successful. Successful on the sheds, not successful on the cell phones. No, no. The cell phone is gone. Cell phone is gone. Here's what it is. Yep. Well, now we got to get all of that in the hair somehow and get the heck over to McDonald's. That's right. Darn tootin'. real though, thanks for hanging out with us. We've been smashing the sheds the last few weekends and, uh, putting in some serious miles so it's been paying off and uh i'm sure there's going to be many more to come so watch out for arizona has been good i'll give you that one though bro just so for sure I mean, sure has and that brings our shed count to 299 thank you guys for watching